Hello friends and welcome back to another movement and breathwork class. If you feel stiff, if you feel like you're lacking flexibility, you're lacking breath and movement and fluidity and flexibility in your body, this is going to be a great class for you. We do lots of nerve flossing, we're going to do lots of decompression and myofascial release, and we're also going to do a ton of movement with our breath so that you feel more alive, you're warmed up, you're limber, and you're ready to take on the day or the week. This is a great practice to do two times a week, maybe even three times a week, whenever you feel the need. And we're gonna begin exactly as you see me, standing. Your feet are going to be hip distance apart or just another inch or two wider than hip distance. And I want your toes to turn out to the side. This is gonna be important because we will be coming into a deep squat so if your stance is a little too narrow, it's actually kind of hard for you to do a deep squat. So make sure you have enough room and your feet are spread open and your toes are splayed to the sides. So let's begin by becoming present. So close your eyes down and let's just feel the weight of our bodies in our feet against the earth. Taking inhales through your nose and exhales through the nose. Becoming a little more conscious of your breath and trying to slow it down. Focusing on your exhales being longer than your inhales. When we do this, we send the signal to our body and brain that we are safe, there's no threats, and we can be in a parasympathetic state for healing and rebuilding. Deepening your breath now, bringing a little more awareness, maybe even an ujjayi breath by gently constricting the back of the throat. We're now gonna find a three-part pranayama, a deeper breath work. So follow for my cues. Bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand over your heart or chest. We're gonna be taking an inhale in three parts. So the first inhale is gonna go into the belly. See if you can send air just into where your right hand is. Now see if you can inhale into your chest and lift your left hand. And final sip of air, can you fill up any more? Is there any more space for an inhale? And then exhale out your nose as slow and controlled as you can, letting all that stale air out. Nice, let's do that a couple more times. Inhale into the belly, nice and deep. Inhale into the ribs and chest, let it expand. Inhale, final sip of air to the crown of your head. Rise up, exhale, slowly let it all out. Two more times on your own breath. Inhaling into the belly. Inhaling into the chest and lungs, feel that expand. Final sip of air into the crown of the head, stand up tall. And exhale it all out. One more together. Belly, chest and lungs. Final sip. Mm. Exhale, push it out. Nice. Release your arms. You can flutter your eyelids open and give yourself a little shake. Nice. We're now going to come into some neck stretches. So making sure that your left hand is really reaching down to the ground. And even in that action alone, you might already feel the left side of the neck start to have a sensation. Thumb pointing away from your body and the hand is away from your body as well. So it's not resting on your leg. And then right arm comes up and overhead to cradle your ear in your head. Take an inhale first. And on your exhale, think about shining the left side of your neck to the sky as you tip to the right. Keep your chin out, not collapsing into your neck. 
and feeling that stretch all up the left side of your neck, the platysma, telling it that it can release and calm down. We'll be back to craning our neck, looking at our device later, but for now we can stretch this out and get some space. Breathing and continuing to feel that opening. And when you're ready, nice and slow, I like to use my right hand to help my head up. Take a breath, feel the difference of the two sides and let's switch. Right arm reaches away, hand off of your body, thumb pointing away. Left arm comes up and overhead to cradle your head. Big inhale, shoulders down and relax and exhale, tip to the left, shining the right side of the neck to the sky. Nice. You can kind of like wiggle your head slightly and feel into the areas of toughness. Your platysma is a huge band across your neck, along the whole front of your neck and out to the sides. So there might be certain areas, if you turn your head, that you can really feel into that stretch. Relaxing your jaw, unclenching, if you're holding tension in your eyes, just releasing, trying to soften, telling your body it's okay to stretch. And bring the head up with the left hand. Nice. All right. We're gonna breathe now and get some movement into our body. So maybe you wanna look at one for a demo or just follow along verbally and <laughs> see if you can catch up. But it should be pretty simple. We're gonna inhale, look up and reach up. On our exhale, we're gonna twist to the left, bring the right arm to the outside of the left ankle. The left arm is up to the sky or bent on your lower back with your hand over your sacrum or tailbone or reaching up to the sky. Continuing to breathe here, deep bend in the right knee, straighten the left leg and twist all the more. You should feel it up that left leg. And on our next exhale, we're gonna deep yoga squat to come out. So inhale, twist, exhale, deep squat, arms come forward. Nice. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Exhale, twist to the right this time, bending over the right leg. Outside of the ankle is grabbed by the left arm, and then that left knee is nice deep bend. Right arm straightens as you look up and reach up, twisting open, right arms up to the sky. Big inhale here, and on the exhale, deep squat, sweep the arms forward. We're gonna do a few more. Inhale, reach up, rise up, look up. Exhale, twist to the left, right hand, left ankle, reach up with the left arms. Deep bend in the right knee, straighten the left leg, twist and look up, inhale, full expression. Exhale, deep squat, swing the arm forward. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Exhale, twist to the right, bring the left hand to the right ankle, deep bend in the left knee, straighten the right arm, twist, look up. Shine your chest to the sky, trying to twist yourself open. Exhale, deep squat, arms forward. Nice, let's try two more on each side. Inhale, reach up, look up, little back bend if you like. Exhale, twist to the right, finding the pose right away. Bent right leg, full detox twist, looking up to the sky with the right arm. Exhale, bending, shooting the arms forward, deep squat. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up, little back bend if it feels good. Exhale, twist to the right, bend the left knee, straighten the left arm, right arm reaches up to the sky. Inhale, twist open. Exhale, deep squat, arms forward. Nice. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Very nice. Let's shake that off. Give the body a little vibration and then we're going to face well i'm going to face the front of my mat so that we can get into a little bit of a flow so let's begin by clasping our hands behind us interlace your fingers making a basket out of the hands take a pause here and then drag your knuckles down your bum as you do this you're going to kiss your shoulder blades together on your back body so that your chest is really open to the front of your mat 
and you're gonna take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna hinge forward from the hips and bring those fists to the sky, rinsing out your shoulder blades and letting your head drop and hang heavy. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Continuing to pull those arms forward, feeling the stretch in the shoulders. You can wiggle a little left and right, bending opposite knees, whatever feels good here for you. One more breath in. And to release, bend the elbows deeply so that you can unclasp the hands and bring them to the earth. Nice. <sighs> Forward fold. Feel that sensation. Let everything hang heavy. Unclench your jaw. Relax your eyebrows. Let your head just hang. You can nod yes. Shake your head no. Just finding that complete range of motion with your chin. Now we're going to play with the breath with a halfway lift. So inhale, straighten your spine, halfway lift, and come onto your tippy toes if you can. Exhale, deep bend in the knees, rock back onto the heels. Again, inhale, halfway lift onto the tippy toes if you can. Exhale, rock back, deep bend in the knees, onto the heels. Feel the stretch up those back legs. Nice, two more times. Inhale forward, onto the tippy toes, halfway lift. Exhale, rock back into the heels, weight into the heels, deep bend in the legs. One more time, inhale, halfway lift, onto the tippy toes. Exhale, deep bend of the knees, and rolling on that heel. Nice, finding a neutral forward fold planting your hands and now let's step back into a tabletop pose to go through some cat and cow warming up our spine so in tabletop make sure your wrists directly under shoulders knees are directly under your hips toes are tucked under now on your next inhale you're going to drop your heart and chest between your shoulder blades as you look up and arch your back Exhale, reverse the motion, rounding your spine, pushing into the hands and pushing the chest through the shoulder blades to the sky. Inhale, dropping the heart and chest between the shoulders as you look up and arch the back. Exhale, push into the hands to round the back. And now watch my feet. A lot of people don't introduce the feet in the mix, but I love to. So toes stayed curled on the inhale as you look up. And on the exhale, you can fold the flats of the feet onto the mat and kind of thrust the hips forward as you round the spine. Inhale, arching, looking up, nice. And exhale, top of the feet, flat on the mat. You can thrust the hips forward as you round the back. One more, inhale, curl the toes under, arching everything. Exhale, flatten the feet thrust the hips forward and round the back nice ah that feels good any other movements you need to do like if you want to find some full circles or you feel like just even shaking your shoulders or shaking your hips whatever feels good for you to release energy and stagnation in your body please do it and now we are going to find ourselves into downward facing dog the first and maybe the only one of this class to be honest so bring your hands one hand length in front of you, curl those toes under, and then inhale, lift your hips to the sky and sink back into your heels. <sighs> nice. Deep inhales through the nose. And exhales out the nose. You can walk your dog, bending one knee and straightening the other. Coming up onto your tippy toes. And sinking those heels back down to the earth. <sighs> nice. Now everybody taking a sigh. So deep inhale through the nose. And let it out. <sighs> One more sigh out the mouth. Inhale. <sighs> nice. Now inhale your left leg up and into the air behind you for three-legged dog. Try and keep your hips squared to the mat so you're not opening the hip you're leaving it nice and square kicking the heel up to the sky 
and exhale, step it forward into a warrior one pose. As you inhale, rise up, reach up, and look up, straight arms. And as you exhale, straighten the left leg and bend over that leg, folding over your warrior one leg and palms facing the ground, sweeping behind you. Inhale, bend back into warrior one, reach up, look up. Exhale, straighten the front leg, rinse over it, folding over the leg as you swing the arms behind you, palms facing the earth. Three more just like this. Inhale, reach up, look up a little back bend if it feels good. Exhale, straighten that front leg, sweep the arms behind you, palms facing the earth. Nice. Two more. Inhale, reach up, look up. Keeping the bend in that leg, make sure you don't lose your warrior legs. Exhale, fold and rinse. Inhale, last time, warrior one leg, reach up, look up, little back bend. Exhale, straighten that leg, folding forward over it, reaching behind you, nice. Now, hands to the earth on either side of that front straight leg. Deeply bend the left knee, and now we're going to find a standing splits. So coming up onto that left leg and your hands. From here, your hip can go open, your hip can be square, it doesn't matter. All you wanna to work towards is hiking it up to the sky. You can relax your head and let it hang as if you're in a forward fold. And balancing on that left leg. If you'd like, you can work on bringing one hand at a time to your ankle. I definitely can't do that today. <laughs> and when you're ready, bend the left knee, bring the right knee behind the left ankle, and you're going to come to sit on your bum. So you should be in a funny little pretzel formation like this. That is perfect. You're sitting back on your haunches. You can squiggle that leg back into you if you like. And now you're gonna wrap your right arm around the left leg. Put your left arm behind you like a nice tall column pillar and a detox twist. On your inhales, rising your chest to the sky, straightening out a little. On your exhales, finding a deeper twist. One more. Inhale, you might come out a little. Exhale, deepen. Nice, so now let's come back onto that leg. See if we can find our pose again. Coming back forward, hands back to the earth back into a standing splits and exhaling that leg back to the earth. Shake it out, very, very nicely done. And now we're going to find that exact variation on the other side. So planting your hands, step your left foot back this time into a warrior one, rising up, reaching up and looking up, making sure that you have the full integrity of your pose. Your knee is nicely bent, the back leg is strong as if there's a string on that back knee. Inhaling, reaching up, and as you exhale, straighten that front leg, hinge at the hips, fold over the leg, arms sweep behind you, palms facing the earth. Inhale, bend into the right knee, reach up, look up, warrior one. Exhale, bend the front leg, rinse over, folding, hinging, arms swing behind you. Inhale, bend into the right knee, reach up, look up. Exhale, rinse forward. One more time. Inhale, bend into the right knee. Reach up, look up, feel that stretch all up. That hip flexor, so good. Exhale, fold, rinse, bend and hinge. Nice. Planting the hands on either side of that right foot and popping up onto the foot for standing splits. Hip is wherever it wants to be, that feels good. Focusing on kicking that left leg up to the sky. Don't lose your breath here, keep breathing. One more breath. If you're working on balancing, you can play with bringing, <laughs> I can't do it today. Bringing your hands to the ankle. And slowly bend the right knee as you bend the left knee and get it behind you on the mat and come back to sit on your bum with your legs in a little pretzel twist. 
and we're going to twist to the opposite side. Sorry, you can't see me, but you know where we're at. Right arm, arm is reaching behind. We're grabbing around the left legs, inhaling and exhaling to twist. Inhale, you might come out of your twist a little. Exhale, right back into it. Taking a little breather here. And come undone. We're gonna pop back onto that leg with our strength, crawling back forward, bringing your hands to the earth. One, two, three, pop up on the foot. One more stretch and exhale, lower that leg to meet the others. Nice. Shake out the legs. Finding a nice forward fold in ragdoll, grabbing for opposite elbows. And we're gonna hang out here for 30 seconds. Letting all of that energy settle. Let your head hang heavy. Don't hold any tension in your jaw or your eyes or your brow. Relaxing all of the muscles. If your lips are pursed, even allowing them to fall. Fully relaxed. And bringing your hands back down to the earth. Step back into a tabletop position. And we're going to find a little bit of a hover <laughs> for our abs. So with your toes tucked under, I want you to lift your knees off the mat just an inch and feel that engagement in your core. You can stay here. If you want more, you can twist to one side reach up and kick the leg out trying to keep a nice low deep bend like don't come out of the pose too much and back to center slow and controlled other side kick the leg out reach the arm up back to center hover opposite side kick the leg reach the arm back to center hover other side kick reach back to center hover kick reach Back to center, hover, kick, reach, back to center, hover, and down. Whew, very nicely done. All right, let's give those arms a break and come back into child's pose. Knees are mat distance apart and you're melting back into your hips. <sighs> Just allowing your forehead to fall onto the earth and your arms are stretched out in front of you. Nice and relaxed. Breathing here. Reconnecting if you've lost your breath. And now coming forward into tabletop. So plant your left hand, straight, strong left arm and inhale as you reach your right arm up. Exhale as you reach it underneath and bend the elbow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your left elbow and reach underneath that arm. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, floss it underneath. Reach, bend the arm. Inhale, last one, reach up, twist. And this time as we flow underneath that arm, we're gonna drop our shoulder to the earth and find a shoulder stretch. So the left fingertips can be tented on the mat. And you're trying to find where you can rest on your shoulder in a way that it is stretching the deltoid very nicely. I love this pose. And you're just gonna breathe here for a few breaths. You can relax your arm. Honestly, whatever gets you deeper into that decompression of your shoulder. Continue to breathe. Allowing all of the blood and oxygen to head to that area. Support us in all that we do with our shoulders and our arms. 
And when you're ready, pushing back into the left hand to bring yourself up back into tabletop. You might need a moment, feel how that feels. And we're gonna find the same variation on the other side. So in a beautiful tabletop position with proper stacking, full weight in that right arm. And as you inhale, you're gonna bring the left arm to your chest and then up. On the exhale, you're gonna sweep it underneath the right arm and reach, bend the right elbow. Inhale, reach up with the left, twisting open. Oh, it feels very stiff for me today. <laughs> Exhale, reach underneath that arm, twist the other way. Two more, inhale, reach up, look up, twist open. Exhale, bend the right arm so that you can really reach the left arm underneath. Last one, reach up, look up. And this time on the exhale, you're going to allow that right shoulder to come all the way to the earth as you melt on top of it. And bring your right fingertips onto the mat, tented fingers. <sighs> Just feeling that deltoid, that shoulder blade, relaxing and decompressing. Don't forget to breathe. Sending all of the oxygen and blood and nutrients to that area where we hold so much weight on our shoulders. And when you're ready, press into the right hand to lift up and out. Now coming all the way onto our belly. So step back into plank pose. Take an inhale here, push the mat away. Exhale, tight elbows into your sides, chaturanga all the way onto your belly. We're going to find another shoulder stretch, another one of my favorites, by bringing the left arm out into a T and then using the push into your right hand to roll yourself onto your left hip. If that is enough for your shoulder, stay there. If you want more, you can bend your right knee and place the sole of that foot behind your leg. You'll feel your shoulder opening. More of a stretch this time for the chest. And continuing to breathe here. If you want even more, you can Inhale the right arm up into the sky, working on bringing it back behind you with the ultimate goal of reaching your hands together. And breathing here, allowing yourself almost to relax into the pose. Allowing all of your fascia to respond to this stretch by building collagen. By unsticking any gunky stuff. Breathing space and life and fluidity into all of those areas that can get compressed and gunked up. And when you're ready, coming out of the pose the same way you got in, bit by bit. Slowly rolling back onto your belly and finding the shoulder stretch on the other side. <sighs> Bending the left arm in, straightening the right arm out to the right in a T, and then pressing into that left hand to rock onto the right hip. Pausing here to feel where your shoulder is at and what it needs. And if it wants more, you can bend the left leg and bring the sole of the foot to the mat behind you. You can also bring the arm up with the goal of reaching it behind you to meet your other arm. And allowing yourself to relax into this pose, whatever that means for you. Communicating with your shoulder but it's okay to let go. I notice this side is a lot tighter for me. 
I definitely have a lot less flexibility in my right shoulder, probably because I use my right hand. I'm right-handed. I pick things up with my right hand. I'm carrying my phone with my right hand. So it's no surprise that that shoulder is tighter. And whenever you're ready, slow and controlled, coming out the same way you came in, bringing your legs back together and slowly using the support of your left hand to roll onto the belly. Nice. And once you're on the belly, let's find cobra pose by bringing the hands underneath the shoulders. And on your next inhale, just a mini cobra, press into your hands and lift your chest. Keep your chin tucked. And exhale back to the earth. One more time. Press into the hands. Inhale. This time you can look up if it feels good. And exhale back down to the earth. Nice. Now place your right cheek on the earth, looking to the left. Cactus your arms flat on the mat. And then bring your left knee to bend so that your left knee is working towards your left elbow and a half frog. Just a nice, gentle decompression. If you'd like, you can lift your foot to the sky and bring it back down. Just communicating with your hip that it's safe to move around it's safe to find a little flexion. And switching sides, straightening the left leg and bringing your head up so that your left cheek can come onto the mat, bending your right leg into a half frog. Arms are in that cactus. And just melting, allowing yourself to flatten onto the mat. And if you like to communicate with your hip, and flex your right toes and then lift your foot to the sky and back down, working nice and slowly. Just letting your hip know that it's all good to find some movement, even if it seems a little out of whack. And returning back into a downward facing dog, our last one of the class to close things out. Ah, back into a tabletop pose, hands one, hand width forward, curl the toes under, lift those hips up, and sink back into your heels. Ah, feels so good. Take one more inhale here. And sigh it out again on your mouth. Another inhale to sigh. <sighs> and now, nice and slow, walk your feet towards your hands into your final forward fold. You can grab for opposite elbows and ragdoll. Once again, just let yourself hang out, swaying from side to side feeling how that opens up a sensation in the back of your legs. And let's find gorilla pose by stepping on our hands, essentially. Back of the hands are on the mat. And then you're gonna slide your palms underneath your feet. So you're stepping on your palms, your toes are at your wrist crease, and you're working towards straightening your legs. Feeling that sensation up the back of the legs. And when you're ready, releasing out, stepping the hands out. And then we're gonna roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Your head will be the last thing to come up. Your eyes can be closed. And when you get to the top, roll your shoulders up to your ears behind you and then down your back body so your palms are facing forwards. Take a final breath here. And 
and bring your hands to heart center. Tuck your chin and place your forehead on the back of your thumbs. And see how you feel. Check in with your body. Hopefully you feel warmed up. You feel a little more limber and a little more calm. Bringing this energy into the rest of your day. Giving yourself a little thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing up and practicing and spending time in your body and stretching and moving and breathing. Doesn't seem like we did a lot today, but every little move we made was beneficial. And so as you go into the rest of your day and week, I hope you remember to stretch every once in a while, even if it's just a little neck stretch or just a little back bend when you stand up every once in a while. And honor your body, giving it everything it needs. I want to thank you for spending this time with me. I really appreciate sharing my practice with you guys. I will see you on the next class. And until then, namaste. Bye, guys. See you later.